Hakeem Jackson. What's happening? <laughs> Back to listen to Derek talk about uh, Russell Wilson. But before we get to that, let me tell you what I say. It's my channel. First of all, what people don't understand is that men don't have a problem with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson became the martyr for the truth. Women tried to act like that was their relationship goals. And they were trying to act like they weren't talking about a guy that makes $100 million, but a guy like Russell Wilson. And that's not true. And so y'all got pushback from the future type of guys that date you and the Russell type of guys that you don't give the chance. You call them nerdy. You call them whatever. So men knew that y'all don't really date the Russell type of dudes until they make a $100 million in contract. But y'all saying that y'all did, they called cap on you. And my... Russell ended up being the martyr of it because y'all were trying to use him as an example while you were getting shot at. And you tried to put him as a shield and he caught the strays. So Russell wasn't ever the problem. It was y'all lying like you date these type of dudes. If if, if y'all's relationship goals really was Russell Wilson, that nuclear physicist dude on the pineapple show would have never got pineapple. He's a Russell Wilson. He kind of looks like him. That's Russell without a quarterback job. That's Russell. And he got that ass pineapple. So we don't want to hear that, but we do want to hear Derek run the clip. Sierra. Yeah, if Russell ain't had that bread, Sierra ain't going to be with him. <laughs> Russell square. Yeah, what, what, what? I mean, everybody know that. She dated, she dated stars, and she's a star. Like Everybody know that. Russell Square, Russell Square, Russell Square. Thing, Sierra, Sierra had a, she, she has a good situation, but she was you don't a, leave Future they, she's and a, get with Russell Wilson. The, the, the thing is, I think though, that's what you don't wrong, leave though. Future and get Russell. Keep in mind, they know him. These ain't people. Just, these are professional football players. They're not just people just sitting back hating. They know the man. It's, like, it's, a, it's a type. Listen, Women bro, everybody got a type. Yeah, that's true. Every yeah, that's what I was saying. She dated rappers. She dated Bow Wow. She dated Future, and then we going to the rest of us. And he's saying, like, yo, that don't go together. That's what he's saying. Everybody has a tie. You're going to leave Future and get with Russell Wilson? Is, though, when you he's so damn square, and I love him on the field. He's a square. Channing. He's a king square. Channing, you go from this level of toxicity, you just want something stable. You want the guy that was sitting with that girl with that big old mouth at the draft that was laughing, and you knew she deserved <laughs> Hey, that's dope, because Ryan not lying. But here's the thing. This is a this is a, an important part of the conversation. Because a lot of people don't understand that it's men saying they don't want to deal with you coming from that level of toxicity. And that's why a lot of men were calling Russell Wilson what they were calling him. Other than him being a martyr for your truth, they were calling him a square because they saying, yo, you were an industry pass around. You were this, you were that. And now I wouldn't have dealt with you coming from that level of this and that and the third. And he is specifically saying he is a square and she don't date dudes like him. To be with him. Goofballs? Yeah, you want that You guy. want to get with goofballs. No. So <laughs> I saw this clip. Uh, going viral and of course you know a lot of people were letting the brother have it who was calling Russell Wilson corny and a goofball and all of that uh, by a lot of people he means women um, but let me just say this first off shout out to the other brothers that was trying to drop facts but even to this guy what he's saying would make perfect sense if he at least appeared to be like 15 16 years old and I'm not trying to throw shots at him but like really like at one point in time goofy cornball it was kind of defined by what Ru Russell Wilson represented like it was one when did it change, Derek? I need to hear this thing. But our characterization of what's corny and what's cool and uncool was supposed to grow up whenever we grew up. And I think his confusion is strictly because in this specific area, his perspective on that hasn't grown up. Like once upon a time, yes, the girls back in middle school and high school, they liked the guy who could stay out past curfew, who got in trouble, who would steal his mama's car, you know, they had tattoos all over the place and all of that. But now they still like the guys who got tattoos all over the place that can just go on a trip. Oh, they want a guy that doesn't have a nine to five as his own business so he can just pop out and go on a trip. 
they still like the same type of guy. It's just an adult version of it. They just say adult type of thing. You wildin', as usual, though. Continue. You always tripping. Grown women really do like, like the other brothers were saying, they like. Hey, grown women really do like. How much y'all want to bet he about to say some cliches? I ain't seen this yet. Emotional something. Something emotional. They want something emotional. I get a lot. Ooh, how much I want to bet? I will cash up if you bet me. Bet something. I swear to God, bet something. Did he say they want emotional support, emotional stability, emotional something. I did not watch this, I promise. They like stability. They like peace. They like emotional and mentally healthy men. They like... <laughs> <good women. laughs> they like emotional men. Is that he just said? No, no, no. <laughs> I promise I ain't watching all everything I love. I did not watch this. I probably seen it before, but I don't remember. No, I know he's going to say that. Stability. Right they like peace. They like emotional and mentally healthy men. They like they like emotional men. No, they don't. They li oh, my God. They say they like emotional men. I'm lying. I'm lying. Let me take that back. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because yes, they, they say it. But they be lying. And you are lying. You are saying cliche stuff that you've heard, fam. And what I didn't get you on and I'm getting you on right now is that you saying people's standards should have grew up, but why did that nuclear physicist dude get pineapple women still go off swag? I just seen a lady do a video about women don't date Pookies and Ray Rays. You guys just ain't cool. They like coolness. So stop playing. Like, you don't know women like coolness, bro. They go off coolness, Derek. Being a square, being a lame, all of that still matters to women. So stop this capathon. And I mean it, Derek. What the? You wilding as usual. Go ahead. Good role models for the children if they have any. Like, that's what they like. And, and they that's like what role Russell models for their children. I see you're going to make me lose a female follower if I got one. I ain't going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Wilson represents. And as an adult man, you shouldn't see anything corny about that. Like, I don't, at least I don't. I don't understand Derek, what's see, so nah, corny see, about it. See, this is your cap. This is where you try to, God, I don't like when you do this. You try to dance around the subjects with other stuff. Oh, you trying to say, is paying bills is corny? You mean being a father to your kids is corny? Oh, you trying to say, providing for your family is corny? No. Dumb man. He ain't talking about that. He talking about him as a person, like the jokes he tells, the music that he listens to, the uh, what he wears. They all got money. We're not having money be an issue at this point at, in this type of conversation. We're not talking about money is no issue. So he talking about who are you as a person? Women, you're not about to tell me. If a woman can decide, they're going to get a man with some money. He's got the money. The money is the... Money is the main issue for a lot of people. So we got that covered. Boom, he got bread. You mean to tell me they're going to pick a goofball over a cool dude? Shut up, Derek. Brother who is God-fearing, about a brother who's a husband, about a brother who is... Don't get me started on God-fearing. I'm going to just say one thing real quick. Y'all don't believe in that because you be trying to get somebody that you're going to fornicate with. So you don't really want... You don't really, like, believe in God in the way you say... Because he's not actually going to bring you somebody so you can fornicate. It's almost like if you got a kid. You're a woman, watch this with a kid. It's the exact same thing as like you telling your kid not to get no cookies. And then you told them they can't get no cookies. But your version of God bringing you a man that you can fornicate with would be you after telling your kid. Because God's your father, right? So after telling your kid that you can't have no cookies, you are going to go get the cookies down, pick out the best ones with all the chocolate chips in them, and then set it on the side of the bed after you just told them that they can't do this. You're not supposed to fornicate, right? Is that still in the Bible? They didn't change their, I don't know. Is that still in the Bible? So yeah, you're not supposed to fornicate, but you think God going to help you do it. So your father is going to bring you something that you ain't supposed to have, the perfect version of it, and put it right by you, but you ain't supposed to have it. And that's a sin for you to have. Continue. 
Let's go. father and stepfather. Let's go. He ain't just a sperm donor who don't see his children. Let's go. Uh, you know, a brother that's still signing multi million, not just multi million, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of contracts. Like he ain't even. Who don't want that? Of course, women want that. Ugh. Done with that, and he only got one baby mama, and that's his beautiful wife. Like, help me understand what's so corny about that. And I'm not that's trying not, to put nothing corny about anything you're saying because you 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 are purposely ducking the corn. You you ain't you ain't even touched the corn. So Wilson on any type of pedestal because he ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. About the the man, you 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 done talked about the steak, the potatoes. You got the wine. You done popped the wine cork. You talking everything great about this man. You ain't touch your corn. You better eat your corn. Don't don't don't, don't think you're just gonna eat that, that steak and drink that pot and get up off this table. Now I gotta talk to you like your father. You 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 you, you don't went too far. You gotta get sunned. Now we was having fun. Now you gonna get sunned. It's now you just gotta you gotta pipe down a little bit, son. I would have turned to the dude, man. Speaking ain't perfect. Ain't nobody been perfect since Jesus Christ of Nazareth. However, Speaking if of you which, got a problem. You think he going to bring you down? Never mind. Just go on. What Russell Wilson represents, the problem is probably you. Because <laughs> it don't make any sense. But what does make a lot of sense, and I don't know if anybody ready say? for this combo. He, a shot or something. he said the problem probably me. You? He said you, so I'm saying me. This me watching. He talking to me. If you got a problem with what Russell Wilson represents, the problem is probably you because it don't make any sense. But what does, if you got a problem with what Russell Wilson represents, the problem is probably you because it don't Yo. make any sense. But people don't have a problem with what Russell Wilson represents. He represents a hundred million dollar man. They have a problem with women acting like they want to date them type of dudes. They don't. Shut up. Or they kind of date the millionaires. Yes, obviously. That. We're not talking about that. We're talking about personality-wise. Stop this capathon, Derek. Can you please, sir? It does make a lot of sense. And I don't know if anybody ready for this convo. I'm ready. Is that a lot of guys who agree with this brother here in the clip, they ain't just got a problem with Russell Wilson. They got a problem with what Ciara represents. <sighs> Derek, you might be on to something. I got to give you credit when you're getting your credit getting. When you, I ain't going to just sit up here and discredit you if you're telling the truth. You, 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 you putting yourself in this box. But right now, you might be on to something. Unless you don't describe her like uh, someone that's been passed around. She's had Bow Wow and Future. And that. So if you don't call her a thought, basically, then I don't know what you're about to say, dude. Because she represents the type of woman a lot of guys these days look down on. She was once upon a time a single mama. Um, you know, that's like seven years ago, and they just can't let that go. But <laughs> she had multiple <laughs> male boyfriends. <laughs> Yo, that was the lowest you have ever went, Derek. That was seven years ago, and people can't let that go. I'm not even thinking about Sierra no more. I'm just thinking about that particular thing in another woman. Like, yo, my kid is seven. Like, what you... <laughs> Derek, 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 you didn't do that. You did not say seven years ago, and she ain't let that. We ain't let that go. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, you know ain't nobody. Di go ahead, man. I'm, uh, uh, I wanted to agree with you. I said you was about to be right, and then you come with this? Come on, man. You are, uh, you are, you, you, you've disappointed me. And all of this insinuated to them in their small minds that she was an industry pass around. See? So That's what I said. You tried to throw the seven year thing in there and before that. Now you got to make me see. Now you said it, but now I'm mad at you still for the thing you said. Because that was just the most toxic. <laughs> oh, God. You said it, though. You was right. I said, see? 
Oh, my God. But you threw that in there with it, so I can't even give you no credit for me. I guess I already gave it to you. Man, you was right. You right. That's why dudes do it. You was right about that. Of course, that meant that if she ever was in a toxic relationship or chose somebody who was toxic, that's all she'll ever be good for. And nobody will ever take her seriously, at least not like them or anybody like they, that they respect. Hey, are you trying to act like that's not um, a smart way to be a man? Are you advising men to date a woman who's had a toxic ex after toxic ex after toxic ex and you ain't never had no type of unpeaceful situation? Are you inviting men to date all of those type of women, Derek? Of course you are. I don't even know why I'm asking you. But here's the kicker, and this is what the ego is, is being really challenged to accept with a lot of these brothers, is that Sierra don't want a guy like them. She don't want a guy like what they respect or they well, duh. She, man, now you just, now you just playing some medical game. Because, duh, because they ain't got the money. But she do want a guy like them. But she just got a guy like Russell, and she was smart enough to keep him. You know? Their hero. She wants the exact opposite. And what we're seeing is yeah, a lot of women that want Sierra. The at this point of their life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women. And this is what we're saying. A lot of women, they toxic ex, extra toxic ex, have a baby, maybe have two, sometimes three, maybe even four. And then now they want this perfect situation. Yeah, Russell's perfect. He's not toxic. All right, he's perfect. I mean, he's not He's not a square. He's perfect. How about that? But a lot of people don't get to be Sierra. Sierra's exact opposite is a major upgrade. And so now, Hell because yeah. the ego is so bruised by that, a lot of these brothers are poking holes at Russell Wilson and calling him this and calling him that. But see, no, I told y'all, I explained why guys are poking holes at Russell Wilson. He's the martyr. He's the martyr for the truth. It's really not him. It's y'all. It's the nuclear physicist guy getting pineapple. That nuclear physicist guy getting pineapple is why men were saying what they were saying about Russell Wilson. They're not poking at Russell. They're poking at you for lying. You're lying and you know you're lying. You don't tell me. I'm not these other. You tell them whatever. I know the type of people y'all date. Y'all better stop playing with me. It's really just a byproduct of this weird else. crush today's men have on future, which I, I again I don't understand because it can't. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Men have a crush on future. What this man got ten kids. Women have a crush on future. What are you saying? Like, men have a crush on future? It's not about future. It's not about Russell. It's about the people who capping. It's about the nuclear physicist guy. I'm keep saying that. It can't just be the music. It can't be. So is it the multiple baby mamas all over the place? Is it the unpaid child support he's still in and out of court for? Is it the advocacy for Percocet addictions? Like, y'all help me under- Bro, this guy. Yo, do he be freestyling this? Yo, he's really good at this. You know, like, this is what I'm saying that he's good at. He's good at saying all the good stuff to make you look crazy for saying something bad. And then now he's pointing out all the bad stuff for making you look crazy <laughs> for saying anything good, which nobody said anything good about future because it wasn't about future. So now it's like, yo, oh, do you like him because of this? You need to be having this conversation with Lori effing Harvey. Oh, she with the other dude now. Never mind. But she got NDA, so you don't know who she with. If she is with, she do whatever she wants. You don't know who she, that she's with, dude. NDA. Stan, what is it that has you guys ride or die for future so hard? Stop it. You better quit it. It's nothing to do with future. Nothing to do with Ross. I explained this at the beginning of the video. So y'all already know the answer to this. But I'm going to say it again. It's nothing to do with either one of them, too. It's the women lying, bro. Stop playing with me. It's getting kind of weird at this point. And the irony is this. It's getting weird the that women keep lying about the men they want to date. And men know. They're getting it from both ends. The Russells and the Futures. Like, you cap. Brother in the clip is speaking, talking about Sierra as if she couldn't possibly move on from Future and be happy with somebody else. Like, she just can't get over Future. When in reality, no, no, no. it was the exact no. opposite. It, it ain't even that. He was talking about her type, and he knows Russell. He knows he's a square. And she knows she likes rappers, but he don't even listen to rap. Like, how do you go from dating Future to a guy that doesn't even listen to rap? It's kind of different. Like, you know what it's different. Like, stop playing. Like, y'all ain't 
All it, eh, come on, Sierra man. had to go me. to a court. She had to go get a judge to tell Future to move on and keep her name out of his mouth. <laughs> I don't remember that. If it happened, it happened. But I'm still saying cap just because I can. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm still saying cap. I don't care. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But cap. It's like, so what is so... It sound like cap. It came from Derek, so I don't know. He don't got the facts straight. Swagged out and, and gripped about that. Like, y'all help me understand because I'm confused. Uh, like, do y'all think... Ask the women. Ask Boy Wilson. Harvey. He dissed her, dissed her daddy, dissed her, and then she was back with him. So you tell me. I don't know. I Ask one of his 10 baby mamas was so swagged out about him. Why you want to ask men? Why you want men to tell you somebody that women keep dating? Man, you better stop playing with me. It's such a square that a woman could possibly move on from a knight in white shining armor like future and be happy Don't with him. That. Or do y'all think that a lot of guys are secretly hating on Russell Wilson because they can't relate to the all around stability that a man like him brings to the table? Man, if you don't get your stupid. Listen, of course, nobody. I can't relate to have a hundred million dollars worth of stability. No, I cannot relate to that. But I also can't relate to the fact that I don't have a problem with Russell Wilson. But I know women lie about that topic. And I know why men give all the pushback that they give. And I know why he's saying what he's saying. Because he knows him personally. He's saying he's a square. So he's just talking about him. We be talking about the women online. He's not even talking about all of that. We are. But you just capping for him. And I'm just saying, keeping it real about everything. I even gave you your credit, but you threw that in there, dog. Like, yo, I can't believe you said that, bro. Seven years ago, they wouldn't let that go. Like, every woman should use that excuse. But I want to hear her try it, because she going to get baked for it. And you going to get baked for it. Can't wait to upload this, bro. You different. What y'all think? Tell me down in the comments. And share this video if you got anything from oh, I'm going to share this. I'll let y'all let Oh, yeah, I'm going to share this. Team Jackson, what's happening? Boy, you different for that one. I can't believe you even tried that. You are different, different. You are different, bro. Like and subscribe. 